Generally, we understand generations by the four terms, baby boomers, generation X, generation Y and uh, generation Z. Baby boomers are those who were born between 1945 to 1960. Think about the time period of 1945 to 60. This was the time period of the post World War II. World was changing very fast. The power uh, equation the source of power, the major power was shifted from Europe, was shifting from North Europe to USA. This, this is the time when many, many countries were going through a major nation building process. That is the generation which values legacy. They wish to leave legacy, they are the doers and they leave to, they love to leave legacy it is very important for them for their identity. They think in terms of words because that was the time when most of the official communication used to happen, most of the formal official use, uh, communication used to happen through words and particularly the written words. Radio was the most prominent uh, medium and uh, office memo, the picture of the typical office memo is also given here that tells about the importance of word, particularly the written words uh, and their importance in the communication, exchange of the ideas and making decisions was very, very important. So, this generation is the generation of doers, those who love to leave legacy and they use words and power of conversations, particularly long conversations. They are good at argumentation and long conversations. And, uh, that is the major ways of their expressing their thoughts and their opinion. Generation X is followed by baby boomers. By the way, the baby boomer term is comes from the uh, uh, major population upsurge happened during uh, this period, uh, during the post world war. The second generation which is called generation X in 19, uh, they were born between 1960 to 1980. They are the drivers, they are the people who have looked at the growth of the organizations. Those who have seen organizations can grow beyond national boundaries. So, they are independent, they are entrepreneurial, they have also, they are also the generation which have gone through the series of recession because of the cost pressures. They have also seen the major layoffs in the Europe and USA. So, there is a sense of insecurity as well in this generation about saving money, about uh, securing financial uh, independence because they have seen that layoffs and recession in their, uh, in their work experience at a mass level, reengineering and the uh, retrenchment at the very large scale became a uh, a major feature of the corporate life during this time. During the time generation X entered the work, workforce. Technology matters a lot for these people because that is the time when the major te many technologies which were rudimentary in the previous decade became commercial, uh, started getting commercialized, started resulting into different products. So, technology and the power of technology became a major source of their confidence uh, that is the one, that is one feature of generation x generation x is are the generation where the televisions became more prominent so instead of words pictures became more prominent ways of communication uh, for the generation x generation y are action focused because they are the generation which have extensively used in internet in their day to day work. They are driven by the development, they are driven by the self esteem, they, they are ok to receive detailed instruction, but they love autonomy, they want to be left alone to complete the task, they value 
transparency and this is the generation which has also seen the uh, major financial debacle, subprime crisis etcetera. So, they are skeptical also about the corporate world, about the corporate life. They are more liberal generation in comparison to their previous, uh, uh, previous generations. Generation Z comprises of the people born after 2000, they have grown up with technology. So, you might remember when uh, in the in the in the beginning of since the beginning of the 21st century if a child cries many time parents would give them the electronic gadgets even their uh, cell phones. So, they have grown up with the cell phone they have grown up with the very audio visual electronic communication. Uh, they are the generation who have survived on YouTube they are most active in the Instagram technology is their soother. So, they are uh, dependent on they, uh, they, they search YouTube or Google for any information, they are, uh, they are not very comfortable with the long conversations, because they are more habitual of the short videos present in uh, YouTube. So, these are the major characteristics uh, of the different generations, this is the most uh, uh, popular generational typology. So, there is there is a more detailed classification of the generation is also available, but we will follow little more uh, uh, kind of four or five stages of the uh, generations which we are going to discuss. So, just to remember you can use this figure which talks about baby boomer an exemplar is uh, Bill Gates, the health, wealth. Uh, quality of life, these are their drivers, they are most careful about those things. Generation X uh, are the anti of the conventions, traditions, they are busy, cynical, uh, they are the, uh, they are the generations which have looked at the organizations growing phenomenally beyond the uh, national boundaries. Generation Y, they have grown up with technology and generation Z are the bone digital uh, generation. So, this is just to remember what we just discussed a short while from. Uh, so, this is just to uh, have a quick recap of what we uh, discussed in the previous slides. There are some other classification as well. For example, Hewitt has given its classification of the generation in terms of passionate advocates, enthusiastic follower, under rewarded supporters, disenchanted, unrealized potential, detractors. Nescom has also uh, used a different classification uh, using the terms of free bird, seekers, stabilizers, loyalists. Uh, American theorists have also used uh, other terms other than what we just discussed. So, the, these terms are depression era, world war II era, post war, leading edge boomer, trailing edge boomers, generation Xer, and gen etcetera. So, there are different uh, few other uh, classifications of the generation. I would like to share with you uh, Indian classification of the generation. As we discussed, generations are the result of the of being born at a particular time period and the events which the major events which would have influenced uh, the people who are born in that time period. So, based on the research of uh, Sondarya Rajesh and uh, her colleagues, these five generations are identified. They call these veterans, free gens, gen X, E gen and gen Ys. So, uh, they have given the classification up till 1981 to 90, because this was given in the, uh, in the beginning of the 2010 decade and uh, generation up till this time actually entered at the workplace. Generation Z which is which is called uh, uh, millennial in the other classification did not enter the workplace when this classification was given but we will see that the classification the characteristic of gen z uh, who are born in 2000 and they are the, the re most recent entrant in the workplace share quite a few characteristics which we discussed in the previous slide 